Good evening. You're very welcome to St. Michael's College. I am the head boy, Alvin Paul. Thank you for joining us this evening. And I am the deputy head boy, Oshin McGear. And I'd like to especially welcome all the P6s and 7s joining us this evening, and of course, your parents and guardians. We want to introduce you to some of our year eights who were sitting at home this time last year watching the virtual open night. They will be your guides across the school this evening as we let you see behind the doors of St. Michael's College. I'm Finn Hegarty and I came into St. Michael's from Holy Trinity Primary School in Enniskillen. I'll be showing you around our Manic Technology Innovation Centre. I'll be walking you through the facilities of the Technology Department and having a look at some of the work that we do here in TND. I'm Matthew Leonard and I attended Tadigar Primary School before coming into first year in St Michael's. I have the best job as I will be showing you around the home economic suite. That is where all the magic happens, when young men become Michelin star chefs in their own right. Join me later as we learn how to make my favourite chocolate chip cookies. I'm Alfie Gaffney and I came to St Michael's from St Paul's in Alvinstown. I'll be here with you in the science department where we learn and experiment in the areas of biology, chemistry and physics. You'll see some more of the experiments we get to do in year eight on that part of the tour. I'm Patrick Toll and attended St. Patrick's Primary School in Monlisky before arriving at St. Michael's. I'll be taking you to the music department where you get to play brass, traditional and a whole range of other instruments, not to mention my favourite, the piano. I'm Tommy Durney and Mile Quinn a pupil from St Ronan's Lisnesky. Across the school we have six computer labs and I, with my class, will be giving you an idea of what we get up to in ICT class. As a pupil who came in from Enniskill Integrated Primary School, I am Tian Smith. This evening my friends and I will be showing you some of the many other subjects you get to take when they come into St Michael's. Subjects like art, mathematics, English, religious studies, geography and history. I'm Kelly Maguire and I went to primary school in Valkyrie. I'll be showing you the new recently opened state-of-the-art sports pavilion at St Michael's College. We are really enjoying being one of the first groups of students to use these facilities that will help future generations of St Michael's boys to excel in the area of sport. So now you've met some of our friends in the year who will be your guides for this virtual tour. You'll meet more along the way. It's nearly time to start visiting the departments where you'll see what goes on in our classrooms. But before that, Mr. Henry, our principal, would like to speak to you. My name is Mark Henry and I'm the principal of St. Michael's College. You're all very welcome to our virtual open evening here in the college. I want to welcome in particular those pupils in P6 and P7 who are watching. The ongoing public health situation means that we cannot have you visit the college in person at the moment. But as you have already been introduced, our year eight, along with the head and deputy head boy, will be your guides. They will be bringing you on our virtual tour across the various departments to give you an insight into what life is like here in St. Michael's. Your year eight tour guides for this evening have come from all different parts of Fermanagh, Tyrone and beyond. We are delighted to welcome into our college community pupils from over 30 different primary schools. I hope that you get a good insight into what life is like as a year eight pupil here in St. Michael's. From the excellent facilities, the expertise and dedication of our staff, to the welcoming and nurturing nature of our school community. I'll speak with you again at the end of our presentation. Enjoy. We're just about to go into one of our six computer labs across the college. ICT is a big department at St. Michael's and all subjects use the computer labs and iPads. Today, we have Mrs. O'Neill and we are learning how to mind map for an advertising campaign for a holiday destination. Okay, how's our digital prefects doing, boys? We're doing fine. I just added a link in Cobble for our pros and cons. Excellent. What were you, Dylan? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm 
That's it from the IT department. St Michael's offers GCSE, A-Level and B-Tech in ICT. It's also a lot of fun, especially in Key Stage 3, with activities that will develop your skills. Hi, I'm Jude Trainer, and I went to school in St. Patrick's Molniski. In the English department, we get to develop our language skills and gain an appreciation of literature. Today we are learning how to edit work for improvement. Miss Collins helps us develop these skills with lots of examples from literature and modern media. Off we go! Okay, you're right. So, we've already heard that our verbs, adjectives, and adverb choices are going to be very important in terms of creating an effect for our reader. But beyond that, can anyone think of any techniques that would really help to in my novel? Sean? I think it's summarizing that approach to the way that we work to life. Excellent, Sean. English is one of the core subjects that impact on all other subjects in the curriculum. The focus on English in St. Michael's allows boys to not only excel in English, language and literature, but also all other subjects in the curriculum, where good literacy standards are key. Hello, my name is Adrian Corrigan and I went to St. Ernie's Primary School in Rushley. I'm just about to go to our class. As well as the fun practical side of art, we pick up a lot of information about different artists and the techniques that are needed to become good at art. At the moment, we are learning about still life and composition. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having us. Okay. Very good. And what about the colours? Art is one of my favourite subjects. You only need to look around the college to see all the artwork on display from the boys who studied art down through the years. We look forward to seeing how your artistic side shines when you come to St Michael's. You want the colours, the contrasting colours, yeah? So those little pops of brighter colour, look carefully. I'm Daniel Brennan and I came into St Michael's from St Martin's Garrison. I am Michael Miller and I was in St Mary's Primary School Molly Mesker last year. And I'm Owen Maguire, a past pupil of St McCartan's Primary School, Adram C. We will be introducing you to some of our pastoral leaders in St Michael's, who have a special responsibility to look out for the welfare, progress and happiness of the pupils in our college. These three key members of staff here in St Michael's do so much to look after us in Year 8. They lead a team of people who ensure that all Year 8 pupils in St Michael's are safe, happy and excelling in their learning. I'm joined now by the Head of Pastoral Care, Mrs Joanne O'Neill. Mrs O'Neill works with the year heads and form teachers to look after all our pastoral and welfare needs. What is pastoral care? Pastoral care is the provision the school makes to ensure the physical and emotional welfare of our students. It assists in providing a sensitive, warm, thorough and realistic learning environment which involves guidance, advice and a framework for growth of the boys here in St Michael's. At the centre of everything we do are our boys and our aim is to support their development and provide an all round or what we call holistic approach to not only address academic needs but also their social, their emotional and their spiritual needs. Pastoral care is part of our everyday life here in school and is linked to the curriculum through a taught pastoral care programme. Every member of our school community has an ongoing role to play in pastoral care. We all have a role to play in assisting our students to be safe, to be nurtured, to be healthy, to be achieving, respected, responsible and included here in St Michael's College. We encourage our boys to make the most of their time at school and get involved in the academic and the extracurricular subjects. Through our pastoral care system, we also make available to pupils the help and support of a wide number of services. These include career personnel, medical services, education welfare from outside of school, but within school we have our learning support services, our school chaplain, our senior prefects, and in particular for Year 8, a group of peer mentors who are specifically trained to support Year 8 students. We also have a school counsellor and a school nurse. All of these services, we believe, combine to meet the varied needs of our students. 
Overall, we believe that our pastoral approach encourages an atmosphere where our young people feel secure. They know they are valued, they are empowered to develop their potential and to make informed choices. And above all, to be the very best that they can be. Working together with our school community, we believe that aim can be achieved. Our students are safe, happy, involved and able to perform to their full potential. This is our Manic Technology and Design Department. Come and have a look. As Year 8s, we have access to the latest technology and equipment as we study everything from woodwork to electronics. Today, some of the boys will be putting the finishing touches on their key fob projects. Thanks for joining me. That's it from the Technology and Design Department. It's described as one of the core subjects and here in St Michael's with a large number of pupils taking further mathematics at GCSE and A level. It really is a popular subject. I'm about to head to mathematics class now where we are learning about sequences at the moment. Today we're looking at sequences. So Kelly, I want you to follow this pattern and the rule here and complete the table on the board for me. So if you come up and talk me through what you're doing, please. Okay, so the rule is you add four, so the next one will be 25, then it will be 29. As a Catholic school in St Michael's, there is a strong emphasis on accompanying students on their journey of faith and spiritual development. This was clear from the first day when we met together as a year group for the first time at prayer. At the start of the year, we also took part in St Michael's art competition. Mr McLaughlin, our school chaplain, often calls in to see us in class and at our weekly assembly, offers some thought-provoking insights and prayers. I have enjoyed his stories of the lives of some of the saints. We also gathered in the college chapel for mass during the month of November when we remembered our friends and family who have died. Hi, I'm James McManus and I went to primary school in St John the Baptist for school. One of the things I have enjoyed about my first year in St Michael's is the opportunity to study new languages. I study Irish and Spanish. And I'm Fenton Martin. And I came to St Michael's from St Nenn's Primary School. It's great that in our language classes we also get to learn about the people, culture and history of the countries where these languages are spoken. The head boy and deputy head boy are going to take over now and show you the modern language department. This is our Irish department. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Hola. Hola. Kieran Harris. Me llamo Patrick. Vivo en Enniskillen. Me gusta mucho el español. El colegio es fantástico. Señorita Carrigan es fenomenal. Hola. Hola. Tienes animales? Sí, un perro. Se llama Bonzo. Es mi tonta. Tengo un tortuga. Se llama Speedy. 
Oh, jetzt sind wir in Deutsch. Hallo, wie heißt du? Hallo, guten Tag, mein Freund. Ich heiße Owen, ich bin 12 Jahre alt. Ich wohne in einer Skillen. Das ist Dermid, ihr kommt aus Bo. Wir sind in Klasse 8 O. Magst du die Schule? Oh ja, ich liebe St. Michaels. Ich lerne Irisch, Erdkunde, Naturwissenschaften, Kunst, Kochen und Deutsch. Ich mag Deutsch und Irisch. Das ist interessant und mag Spaß. Wir lernen Cross Country, Athletics, Soccer, Rugby. Some of the many sports pupils enjoy in St. Michaels. I'm Connor Corey and having come into St. Michael's from St. Scary's Primary School in Trillick, the sporting opportunities have been a real highlight. While I'm getting ready for PE class, Mr. Cargan and Mr. Shaw would like to take the opportunity to tell you a little more about the facilities of the PE department and the opportunities for sport at St. Michael's. We are very proud of our PE department here and the range of extracurricular activities and offer to the boys who enter St. Michael's. From Gaelic football, where we are the current Hogan Cup champions, to rugby, soccer, team sports are a very popular offering to the boys in the college. As all Ireland cross country champions, individual excellence and a competitive team spirit are key components to the success of St Michael's in cross country. From year 8 to year 14, there's a space for everybody in the team, from those who wish to compete for medals, to those who just want to get fitter and improve their times. And here's a range of the many sports on offer in our state-of-the-art pavilion and gym for all boys in St Michael's. here now boys in Gaelic football is concentrated on the basic skills. Now we talk about BB. What is BB? Be brave. Be, be brave. brave. Brilliant basics. But be brave is a good one too German. But uh, brilliant basics. So we're going to concentrate now on our basic skills in Gaelic football starting with solo and fist pass and pick up. So let's get back to our codes boys. And Ms. Gronia Hanradi is Head of Learning Support and she looks after pupils who have any difficulties in accessing the curriculum or those who have learning needs. Ms. Hanradi is now going to give us a further insight into her role. In St Michael's College, we recognise that all pupils need support with their learning and it is my responsibility with the learning support team and other staff to put that support in place. St Michael's has in place a robust system for the identification and assessment of pupils who have learning difficulties. Teachers in the college are well trained to support those pupils who have a learning need and are dedicated to ensuring that all pupils succeed in their studies. If you have any queries or questions in relation to learning support, please feel free to contact me. Hi, I'm Kian Doonan and I went to primary school at St Nollies in Knolly. I'm about to go into the history class with Mr. Rasdale. We are currently studying the Great Famine. It's one of the many topics we cover in the area, including historical evidence, the Normans, and the land ownership in Ireland. So let's go in. So, okay, look, right, lad. So, what I want you to do now is, right, if you look here, right, you put what you have identified as our big famine consequences. So, what I want us to do now, lads, is I want you to try to rank them. We'll do it using our mobile phones at phone and phone. Okay, so let's see how that works out and what you think. Okay, lads, results are in there. Very good. Look, Dara, why did you go with emigration as the big consequence? This meant the population hugely fell and people left Ireland never to return. Very good, okay. Carla, I know you went with deaths. Why did you go with deaths? Well, the deaths were worse than the emigration because at least the emigrants. 
Yeah, very true. Good point. Yeah, very good. Very good. So history really does come to life in the college, especially when we do interesting activities like the one today. As the year eight in St Michael's, you'll really love history. Welcome to the St Michael's College Student Council. I'm Ben Riley from Year 10 and I'm the leader of the Key Stage 3 section of the Student Council. Today I'm meeting with the Year 8 representatives as they are planning for their mental health and peer mentoring course. So, what values should a peer mentor possess? A peer mentor should be kind, a good leader, approachable, trustworthy. So far this year, the Student Council has been working on a number of projects and fundraising initiatives, notably raising almost £7,000 for the Northern Ireland Cancer Fund for Children. As a team, we work regularly to ensure that the voice of the student body is always heard. Welcome to the Science Department. Do you know how the salt to the water ratio affects the time it takes ice to melt? I don't either, but today in science we are going to find out as we do the ice melt experiment. I'm sure it has a more fancy name than that, but that's what I call it. This is one of the many experiments we do in Year 8. I better go in, Mrs O'Reilly will be waiting on me. It contains salt and it contains salt. Why do you think? Because the salt is Okay, what was your prediction for this? You were using, using the pinch, aren't you? Very short, so you're using the pinch. Right, what's going to use? What are you using the pinch on? Right, you're using the pinch on, right. What can we say? Um, it's not. That's it from the science department. Whether it's biology, chemistry, or physics, you're interested in and you're sure to enjoy your time studying and experimenting in science here in St. Michael's. Religion is one of the subjects where we get a chance to learn about our Catholic faith, Christianity and other world religions. We also get the opportunity to take part in moments of prayer and reflection, including meditation. We're studying the Jewish Sabbath at the moment and we have been promised a quiz at the end of the class and I love quizzes. Okay boys, so the next question says, what day of the week does a Jewish Sabbath end? I'm getting big up. You scared it already? Yep. Yeah. Mrs. Geraldine McMahon is the head of Year 8. She looks after us and we see her every day as she works with the Year 8 form teachers in a whole variety of different ways. Ms. Mahan is now going to tell us more about her role. I am the person who is responsible for helping you make the transition from primary to secondary education. I feel very privileged that I get to play such a significant role in helping you begin your next chapter in your academic career. Starting a new school is exciting and here at St Michael's we give our new pupils time, encouragement and support. Along with my team of Year 8 form teachers, we will respond to your needs quickly and sensitively. We have a taster day in June and we have an extensive induction programme and booklet developed and designed which will aid your transition. The HOPE programme will be delivered as part of your initial induction and this is to help you develop and promote skills in making new friends and resilience. The PDE programme is also carefully planned and it ensures topics such as following a timetable, being organised is all part of our start of our induction programme. I am also assisted greatly with my team of peer mentors. These are boys selected from our Year 14 group and these boys are assigned to a form class and they are here to help and answer any questions or concerns you may have. The peer mentors organise different events throughout the year and they have included this year the World Cup competition, the chess club and the games room at break time. I and my Year 8 pastoral team and all the staff at St Michael's look forward to welcoming you all in September to begin your new story at our college. I have no doubt St Michael's College will be rich and rewarding for you all. I'm on my way to the Home Economics Department. We're doing a practical today and it's my favourite, chocolate chip cookies. Having a purpose-built kitchen, computer suites and planning room, the Home Economics Department allows pupils to develop their knowledge and understanding of food and nutrition. 
but also developed the ability to cook and eat some great food. Right, it's a matter of time now and the clean up. We've been told we have to learn to love this part. From boiling an egg through to serving an a la carte meal, it's all part of a day in the life of the people in the home economics department. That's it from home economics. I'm going to enjoy one of these and the rest are for home. I'm just about to go into Mr. Maguire's classroom for geography. We are studying ordnance survey maps at the moment. No fear of getting lost when you can read maps and use your map skills. Well, we have this map of here, okay, from this year. I want you to take a look at the left hand side. Can you tell me about the left hand side? Oh, here, guys. So, in pink first year, what I want you to do is answer this question for me. How would you explain four figure grid references to somebody who did not know how to use them? Think per share. So uh, I think what we would do, we'd like, so the numbers up the side of the map will be put into grids. And like, I like geography because we get to learn how to use maps and the physical world. That's it from the geography department. The music department is one of the busiest. There's so much going on. Throughout the week, tradition for a range of instruments take place. Whether it be the drums, piano, guitar, or practice for the brass band or group at Kyol. There are so many opportunities. class we've been listening to different styles of music and also trying to name that instrument in an orchestra. I'm really enjoying the performance aspect of music class and creating compositions. Hi, I'm Ewan Smith and I went to St Davog's Primary School in Belague before coming to St Michael's last September. Just before you go, on behalf of our whole year group, I'd like to thank you for joining us this evening. We all hope that what you've seen will make you consider joining us in St Michael's in September. It's a great school with excellent teachers and lots of opportunities for extracurricular activities. We love it here and know you will too. Thanks to all our year eights for the great insight they have given us into life at St Michael's College. The senior prefect team, which I lead as head boy, is there to support all our students, but especially the year eights, through mentoring, support clubs, and generally just looking out for them, just as we were looked after when we were new year eights here in St Michael's. That brings us to the end of our virtual open night. We hope that you have enjoyed our tour around the college, and we look forward to you joining our year eight classes in September. Thank you to all our Year 8 pupils, our Head Boy Alwyn, Deputy Head Boy Oshin, and our Chaplain James McLaughlin for putting together this open night presentation. We're very proud of our boys in Year 8. Their contribution and participation in this virtual open night is a testament to how well they have settled into life here in the college and already become valued members of the St Michael's family. The admissions criteria for entry into St Michael's is published on the Education Authority website. Post-primary applications open at 12 noon on the 1st of February on the EA's website application portal. Post-primary applications close at 4pm on the 23rd of February with the outcome of applications available through the online portal on the 21st of May. I hope you have enjoyed our open night presentation and found it informative. Please get in contact with us 
If there's any further information that you would like, or with any questions you might have, the email address for all inquiries is along the bottom of the screen. Once again, I thank you all for joining us here in St. Michael's. Good evening.